Man, this is the worst. You're telling me, Chef Pierre. Hey guys, hi there. Hi girls. Hmm. <sighs> What's up with you guys? You guys seem so bummed out. I'm not, as you say, uh, bummed out. But you look way bummed. It is uh, ennui. Ennui? <sighs> French for getting the blahs. Oh, I see. So what's giving you the blahs, chef? Uh, today is the day of the Toy Cafe Baking Contest, and last year somebody sabotaged my cake, and I'm fearful that it will happen again. There's a Toy Cafe Baking Contest today? Sure is. I thought I mentioned it to you both. <gasps> we totally blanked. Oh, that's right, I remember now. Well, now there might not even be a contest. Oh, really? Why? All my judges backed out at the last minute and now I have nobody to judge the contest. I might have to cancel the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, what's up with the stare, Lulu? Yeah, is something on my face? Nope, nothing, Addy. You girls can be my judges. That's crazy. We can judge a baking contest. Yeah, we wouldn't know what to do. Well, I can tell you what to do. Plus, the job comes with a toy cafe goodie bag and a spa day at the toy hotel. Wow, a spa day and a goodie bag? Brilliant. Amazing. I'll do it. Yeah, me too. Wonderful. Come on, chef. Time to face the music. And we gotta get back, Chef Pierre. Don't worry. If anyone tries to ruin your dessert, we'll get them. No. Mercy, ladies. I feel a bit better now. Yay! Come on, let's go get your dessert ready. Oh, oh. So, girls, what do you think? This is amazing. And OMG, those desserts. I know, right? The rules state to be part of the competition, each dessert has to be part toy and part food. This one's part Barbie and I love it. And this one's part Shopkins, Maya. And did you see this Hello Kitty cake? And don't forget to check out the Hatchables one over here too. It even has collectibles on it. I can't wait to dig into these. Oh, well, the contest will begin shortly, but first I thought it'd be nice for you girls to meet all four of the contestants. You already know Chef Pierre, of course. Where is Chef Pierre? Mm -hmm. He should be right out. Well, which cake is this? Well, I can't tell you that. Notice how each cake in the competition is numbered. Yeah, so is that so we can't know who made what? Sure is. We want to keep the contest as fair as possible. Well, when will we get to meet the contestants? As a matter of fact, right now, I'm going to run down to the contestant lounge and make sure they all come up to meet you girls. See you later. Where'd she go? Oh, bonjour, Addy and Maya. Are you ready to judge the contest? For sure, but we're way nervous. So nervous. I can't wait for this to be over. Oh, you will do superbly. What? Look at this. Is that a bird feather? A wee. But the who would put such an ugly thing on this beautiful dessert? Good question. Doesn't sound like an accident to me. Agreed. We'll keep our eyes and ears open, Chef, and see what's going on. For sure, we won't let anyone sabotage any more desserts. Merci, mademoiselles. Ay, ay, ay. This sounds so serious, Maya. For sure. Yoo-hoo! She must be another contestant. Well, hello, darlings. I'm Miss Periwinkle. I hear y'all are judging the contest today. Hello, Miss Periwinkle. My name's Addie. And I'm Maya. How do you do? How do we do what? <laughs> How do you do is just a formal way of saying nice to meet you. Oh, okay. I get it. And I just love your outfit. Why, thank you. I want to look my very best for today. Honestly, though, it's been a bit stressful. How so? Well, can I be frank with you girls? Absolutely. Johnson, 
I'm so glad you're here because the judges are ready to meet you. Oh, well, good. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, well, that shouldn't be much longer. Oh! Oh, pardon me. Is that a feather, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> So it is. Hmm. Something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. Why don't you go up and meet the judges now? Oh, well, thank you. Interesting. I think something fishy is going on. What do you mean, Miss Periwinkle? I found feathers in my eye sink. Feathers? Like more than one? Correct. They were little black feathers. <laughs> this is weird. I should say so. Keep your eyes and your ears open, girls. Hello, ladies. I'm Ernie Johnson. I only got a minute, so let's make this snappy. Well, it's been a pleasure, ladies, but I've taken up too much of your time. Ta-ta! Mr. Johnson, I'm Maya. And I'm Agni. So, uh, you two ladies are judging this competition? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And just what are your qualifications? Qualifications? Well, certainly. You must have learned how to judge toy dessert somewhere. Like at a school or something? Oh, do you mean like toy school? You went to toy school? Well, you must know your toy desserts quite well, I suppose. Oh, we do. And we heart baking. So you bake often? All the All time. time. Well, good enough for me, I suppose. I shall not keep you. Oh, oh did I do that? There you go. He's kind of odd. I think so too. We should keep an eye on him. Copy that. I wonder where the next contestant is. How's it going, girls? Pretty good, but where's the last contestant? Mrs. Green? I don't know, I'll go find her in just a second. But did Chef Pierre tell you about the feather he found in his dessert? Yeah, we were there when he found it. And Miss Periwinkle also found feathers in her dessert. You're kidding me, something is definitely up. I was talking to Mr. Johnson earlier and a feather fell out of his handkerchief. No way. Yes way, I'll go and find Mrs. Green. There she goes again. <coughs> that might be Mrs. Green. Hi. Baby. I hear you two girls are the judges. Yes, that's us. My name is Addie, and this is my sister Maya. How do you do? Very well, I shall say. Okay. Hmm. Not as fancy as I thought it would be. We think it's awesome sauce. Awesome what? I'm going to assume that means you like it. Yeah. yeah. Lulu put a lot of hard work into this contest. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure she did. Notice her hat, Addy? How could I miss it? Did you say something? Nope, nothing at all. Good, because I'm much too tired for any nonsense. You're telling me. I heard that. <laughs> um, Mrs. Green, you should be getting back to the contestants now. Don't you think? Why, of course. Oh, I almost forgot. Lulu was asking for you both. You should see what she wants. Okay, um, yeah, we'll do that. Sure, um, yeah, what she said. Very well. I think we should follow her, Addy. But Lulu said Mr. Johnson had a feather too. It could be him. You're right. You follow Mrs. Green, I'll follow Mr. Johnson. Deal. aren't working. Probably need some more tape. <gasps> Here comes Mrs. Green.
that seems to be better. Hmm, might as well go look at those contestants' cakes. Hatchimals? How absurd! Is it almost judging time? They're both in here now. This suspect is killing me. Ditto. Hmm. <gasps> He's reaching into his pocket. Is he getting the feather? <laughs> Disgusting! It was a false alarm, Maya. OMG, did you see that? What is she gonna do with that feather? Okay, it's judging time! Very well then. Mrs. Johnson, what are you doing up here? You need to be downstairs in the contestant lounge. Shoo now! Goodbye! Did you say judging time? What kind of Miss Green? But yeah, I brought forks and plates and it's judging time! I think we're ready for this, Lulu. Oh, you girls will do great. Now, you'll need to consider both the taste of the cake and its presentation to decide who the winner is. Best of luck! Oh, I just don't know, Miss Periwinkle. I have such a bad feeling about today. I smell sabotage. Oh, I know what you mean, Chef Pierre. I have seen too many black feathers on our baked goods and not a single black bird. Uh, yes, something is just not right. Well, I think we could agree that the Barbie cake looks fabulous. Yes, excellent presentation. But horrible taste. Oh, totally agree. Way too dry and just disgusting. The Hello Kitty cake has a nice presentation. I appreciate all the pink. Well, let's take a taste now then. Not bad. Definitely a step up from the last one. Mmm. Mm. So what do you think about the Shopkins cake, Addie? Well, as much as I love Shopkins, I think the presentation could have been a little bit better. Yeah, I'm with you. I would like to see some more toys on it. Well, this taste is amazing, Daddy. Mmm. Mmm, you got that right. Not so fast! <gasps> Mrs. Mrs. Green! Ladies and gentlemen, despite a little bit of chaos today, there is a winner of our Toy Cafe Baking Contest who will get to take home our Bake Off Champ Spoon. Girls, I'll let you do the honors. Drum roll, please. Oh, sure thing. And the winner is cake number four, the Hatchimals cake. Oh, that is mine. Magnifico, I am so honored. Jeffy, your cake was absolutely, positively delicious. And the Hatchimal theme was stellar. Even with the feathers, it kind of worked. For you, Chef Pierre. Ah, uh, mercy, mercy. There are no words for my joy. I am the greatest chef in the world. Oh, no, this is the life, Maya. You could say that again. I'm so sorry to interrupt your charcoal mask treatments, girls, but I wanted to bring some fresh pillows for you. There you go, Annie. And Maya, there you go. I think you girls will find our new feather pillows simply divine. Feather pillows? You've 
gotta be kidding me.